Greetings everyone and welcome back to new sh Charlie buddy thank you for the for the three months but you you fucking paid for a sub two weeks ago what are you doing you're wasting your money <laughs> I 100% appreciate it though take care king um yeah thank you what a way to start what a great start already damn I'm being greeted Yes, but we're back with some more Knights of the Old Republic. Now, today is very exciting because we are very close to getting to level 15. We've had our lightsaber in the previous episode, so we're going to finally get to build and uh, upgrade that. Isn't a waste. Thank you. I appreciate it. I am not a droid compactor today. Uh, but yes, so that. Yeah, prestige. I'm very intrigued because Sith Marauder is they have a special ability uh the fury i believe and i haven't played that class in in like 10 years because i usually don't play a dark side playthrough i play this game like once every two or three years for a full play uh, playthrough but it's usually light-sided so that's why anyways i'm gonna stop talking on the palace menu and we're gonna go keep moving in the meantime i really like the lightsabers how they are right now they kind of look all like revan's blade but at least a little bit more hd so we gotta go and talk to this the this man over here hey buddy Your arrival is fortunate i was just running out of food supplies and wondering what legrec meat would taste like i wasn't expecting to find anyone else here Alive. I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic. Although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. I'll be going now. Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. I don't have a, I don't have Why? the swappable mod because I couldn't be asked. I don't like the disciple as much as a companion. But if you play a female character without any mods, you'll be getting him as a companion. Uh, but because I'm a male character, I don't get him. Um, uh, because they need to answer for what they did to me. What answers do you seek? It has been my experience that Jedi rarely answer such questions, or instead indulge in half truths. I'm looking for clues that will lead me to the Sith. If the Sith are rising in the galaxy again, then it is strange the Jedi would not be there to meet them. And that we have not seen more evidence of the Sith. They can be quiet. Uh, they've been hounding me since Paragus. No, I believe you. I merely find such subtleties among the Sith to be strange. They have been known to practice deception. But in the histories, since the time of the Dark Lords, Kuhn and Kel'Drum... Oh, bro, those name Adam drops. Malik, such subtleties have been rare. I will return to Kunda now and await the next transport. You may find me there if you have more questions. Were Exa Kun and Ula Kel Droma mentioned before the Knights of the Old Republic's game? I'm not fully... I haven't really delved into the lore with those two characters yet. I definitely want to get into it at some point. Because um, I want to get into everything uh, books related. I know they mostly appear in comics, I believe. Which is books, plain books. That is the works of Master Vrook. Uh, this datapad contains orders from Asgul, the leader of the mercenaries and Dantrine. Vrook has wandered into the Enclave alone. You will take a full squad and capture the Jedi alive. Bring him to our nook in the Kinrath Caves. Yeah, so this is to know where he is. Would you be... I don't know. I, I haven't really tested it in a long time. Would you be able to skip this whole ordeal if you just went to the caves? Or do they just... Do the NPCs just not appear there until you... Uh, grab that data pad? Is the data pad like the incentive for Vrook to appear in the caves? Because I actually don't know that. I should probably get my force powers back up. Because, yep, they're, they're, they're out there. So, first time I get to use poison... Yeah, you can't really escape it. This one just needs to be opened normally. Uh, 
Everyone down! The journal was found near the north clean skeleton of a salvager. Last entries of interest, I made it farther into the enclave than any other salvager. I've discovered an untouched storage room. The computer into the, in the power relay station should allow me to open the security door. Once I figure out how to sneak past the Lego that I've made a nest here. Everyone's out there just trying to... Oh boy, this is a fucking... Hold on, hold I hear on, you. hold on, hold on. I'd rather take some of the mines before the Lagrex starts to attack us. Uh-oh. Ah, it's failed. Actually, you know what? Get him here. Ooh, nice shot. Oh god, there's more of them. <laughs> Wait. Time to take you down the side. Oh, nice kill, actually. Hey, 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 hey. Mother of God. Ugh. You can't just jump into the minefield, man. The AI is stupid. Or you can't even heal another time. Wait, was F4 safe? Okay. Yeah, this, I'm playing multiple ge multiple games where one time F5 is safe, the other time F4 is safe, and I'm, like, taking the risk. Open. Please contact the head. Yeah, so as far as I know, the only way to actually open it is by just overloading the thing. But was there a timer? Or do you, or does it just... Oh, yeah, give it 10 seconds. Run! 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 Should be fine. Nice. Well done. To me. A bag. Okay, another data pad. But we have loot. Let's see if we're lucky today. This is kind of annoying because it does get... This is going to look weird. I'm sorry. Whoa. Oh. Hey. <laughs> we have a Bonadon alloy. I don't actually know what type of armor this is. It's just light armor with a dexterity max bonus. Okay. Power pulsator mark two could be turned into scraps. Arcanian blast rifle. I think those are fully upgradable. Sixty six credits. Awfully suspicious. An Argazdan riot buster. I now I don't actually recognize that weapon. One to ten sonic damage. On hit attribute damage, dexterity, and stun, but only the scope is upgradable. That's a shame. Whoa, 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 wait. Where's your other blaster? Why did you remove it? This loot hasn't been that great. Sith power. Never mind. We have another Sith power gauntlets. Uh, I mean, you would be doing more damage, though. It's just, uh, you just get flat out damage. You already have enough dexterity, I feel like. I think we're kind of done here. There's like one more room. Some leg wrecks, maybe. And that's it. You found a will on the salvager. The will states that all of its possessions are to be left to the other dead salvager you found. Dorala will no doubt be interested in getting her hands on the salvager's bodies and the will. You can tamper with the will so that all of the salvager's possessions go to you. Tamper with the will, bro. Give me this shit. Nice. Yes. I am a greedy bastard. How long until I level up? Because I think, yeah, I, level, I leveled up literally by around the end of the previous episode. So those, opening those doors is a waste unless I need to use my, uh, yeah, get it for the XP. It's still like 100 XP per lock door, but we need to go back because there's still one lootable place. More where that came from. More where that came from. 
Which is which is over here. Just say the word. Okay. I think there was only one lootable thing here. No, actually, never mind. Two foot lockers. Three! Oh shit! What do they have in the bedroom? A gum Who the fuck is storing a Gamorian war axe in the bedroom? Although it looks more like a hospital to me. That's regeneration. I mean, the loot hasn't been that great inside the Enclave. I feel like I've gotten all the best possible loot in the game and this is what I'm going to be st stuck with. Oh yeah, I forgot we're going to get attacked. So wait, I forgot. I have Makashi, but I didn't actually check if I should use it. Yeah, so my blaster ball deflection is fucked. I get a high attack modifier if the target is wielding a damage. I get a flat out plus three on damage. And I get saves against force powers. So it's either I sacrifice my defense from Shicho for the damage. Three damage is not nothing. You know what? Take the risk, man. The game is easy enough as it is right now. And I feel like... Getting a bit more of a challenge would be nice. Actually, I don't want to use alacrity. I'll just use flat out strength for this one. Braved the perils of the sublevels, yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and associates. For now, not only do I get rich salvage. But an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. Why does he talk so slow? I'm afraid your death won't be. So, this is your threat? Is Terra what I'm supposed to feel? We know a thing about Jedi and their ways. And now, Jedi, we shall. We should probably start off with a full on uh More where that came from. More where that came from. It's like what's the point of doing a melee build if even if you don't have you don't I don't have wisdom. I have no wisdom. Why is this working? Why is everyone so easy, man? Where's the challenge in the game? Dexterity plus... You already have the Kubas. Why do I have another Kubas? Holy shit. We have like one... Sc two scoundrels in this game, probably. Well, anyways. That was the uh, sub-enclave. We now move on to... Uh, the caves. Yeah, we still have some shit to do. But we're probably ending this planet uh, today. I think. Now, I should probably go and talk with this man. Because I oh, forgot. The visitor comes to our delightful salvager camp. We are honored. Do you come bringing your credits and curiosity? Get to the port. This camp smells like the back end of a banther. This saddens me to hear. True, this camp isn't as opulent as you're used to with your off-world notions of comfort and decadence. But this is a place of people who toil. A question I pose to you, traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? A powerful Jedi holocron. I'm not interested. So, passing up or so, what? Oh, so I guess I do have to kind of... I have it right here. I ask a mere 1,000 credits. 1,000 credits! Can I inspect the hologram? Maybe it's broken. Oh, I assure you it isn't. I will show it to you presently. As you can see, it is in fine shape. A real bargain at a mere 1,000 credits. The thing is, I don't have the credits to go through this quest so far. What? Who is that? Oh, it's you. You go down it. 
Uh, I'd like to talk to you about the dead. Actually, no, because so. I don't know if this means she's actually going to disappear. Oh, but I can't sell anything. I keep forgetting. She can't. <sighs> Any luck getting to their bodies? I figure there's about no chance you'll succeed, but the reward is still open. I found their bodies. Yeah, you managed to find them down there. You're tougher than you look. I have one thousand credits for their bodies and their personal effects. Uh, I think I'll hold on to them. Suit yourself, but uh, who else will want a couple of corpses? Oh, so that doesn't what? actually end the quest. Oh. Uh. Here you go. You've proven very helpful. <laughs> uh, I have something I have to do. Come back if you want to talk again. Well, I got a thousand. I've, I got the thousand credits now, so I can talk to the man and waste them. Ah, the traveler has returned. I hope the Dantooine is providing suitable distraction and entertainment for you. So, what should we talk about? Uh, oh yeah, let me... I'll take it. Well, your wisdom is immense. Here's the holocron. Now business is done, we can talk of other things. So, what should we talk about? I hope... Um... I'm here to get my money back. Sales are final, I'm afraid. You should take the matter up with the militia. They will say the same. I'm a dangerous person to cross. Uh, I believe you. Fortunately, the militia and salvagers don't appreciate violence, even here. There's nothing more I want to discuss. Take the matter up with Zeron, head of the militia. Oh, so actually... Ah, the tra so. I can't actually... Also. And you... So that's fucking stupid. Does it count as a fucking completed quest? It doesn't. Oh. Well, you know what? Sure, keep the credits, honestly. It's fine. I'm not mad or anything. Time to go on a killing spree, though. Get over here, you son of a bitch. Why did he have to move? Just say the word. Nice shot, man. You should. You literally. You're, bro. It's such a big target, and you keep hitting the floor of all things. Any loot behind here? You never know anymore. Time to move it. More where that came from. I don't know what more I got. Came from. Stop screaming more where that came more from, bro. Came oh from. my god. <laughs> <laughs> as I say it as well. God damn. Oh man, I really don't like purple lightsabers. They're not my thing. I used to actually love them. I don't know why. But now I don't. Oh boy, there's a whole collection of people here. I'll save talking to the Mandalorian for uh, uh, later, though. Because I know Smells I can do like it later. Another uh, salvagers uh, come to our camp. It's a long story. Vacate, mud liquor. Don't make me tell you again. Ease off, Nalik. There's better sport than this one. I don't need help to take out a mud liquor. Yeah, I'm Bro, talking to you. Why am I called a mud liquor? You wanna fight me? You're as dumb as you look. What? I'm a veteran of the Jedi Civil War. I fought dozens of battle-trained Republic soldiers. You're going to die. You know, uh, you've never fought someone like me. You've given me all the excuse I need out. Okay. And you decide to fight all three of us? Oh, he's switching to a sword. Well, there you go. See ya, mate. Another Argazdan Ride Buster. I don't recall ever getting those before. They feel useless, but otherwise, eh, it's fine. Cool. 
Kunda Plains. Bro, we just came here, man. And you're already trying to kill me. Take a break for the love of all that is holy. What is happening? I'm hearing more death noises than the amount of enemies that are here. More where that came from. <laughs> Bro, oh, they're fucking dying so rapidly, it's amazing. Come here, you son of a gun. More where that came from. Nice! I'm so close to leveling up. 7.6k. Uh, okay. Atten, sneak attack, very nice. Don't care much about your stats. That's kinda it, alright. Ooh, you get and feet. So... But oh, she's already fully done with saving throws. Impressive. Um, yeah, you know what? Get deflection rolls. Force channel. You can get killed, but you can also just get insanity. Actually, no, you know what? Get the force whirlwind. We, we don't upgrade past whirlwind. There's no point. And if you do that, think again. Force wave might sound cool in the beginning, but is this loot I can grab? It is. Such an awkward placement. A concussion grenade. How interesting. Hey, Sadie. What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old fella like that. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. I can take care of myself. Just a habit. We warn people that the area around Kunda is dangerous, but some of them don't listen. Probably nothing you can't handle, but I'd stay clear of the caves all the same. What's so dangerous about the caves? The Kinrath have been tunneling for years. Those caves have a whole swarm of them. We've collapsed a couple of the caves, but they just come right back. What are you doing out here? A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to Kund on his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. Oh, Finch. I wasn't reading the subtitles and I was like, what do you mean western French farmers? I don't remember French people being on Dantooine, let alone in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> like, French people here? Damn. I don't... <laughs> I, just, I don't really care. That's just a great attitude. Sorry to waste your time. <laughs> important things to do that help people maybe you've heard of that word oh i actually i, I don't get the quest ah oh, shit i didn't know uh, you know what it's fine don't mind it i got my dark side points <laughs> i'm such a dickhead that is quite some xp wasted but you know what it doesn't matter crystal cave oh baby The mercenary ahead doesn't notice you. He appears to be walking past the Kinrath unharmed. So what's the name of the whoever's narrating all of this? Invis Invis speaker. Invisible speaker? Really? Interesting. Oh, it doesn't appear. Ah. Dead. They just keep getting one shot of man. I say that and then it's the only fucking Kinrad that took more than two hits. God damn it. <laughs> Another Argazdan Riot Buster, bro. Why are so many of these weapons dropping? To be me sneaking around, these tunnels are too dark to tell man from beast. I did not sneak. Those caves are filled with Kinrath. Uh, surely you've heard of me. I'm Kenda, the famous Spelunker. 
What? The Kenrath don't attack you. Why is that? You will tell me I will slice you up and feed you to the Kinrath in little pieces. It's so weird to actually see them with now, like, a, like actual ears. I must have one of these gla scent glands. Then I will kill you for your glands. Die! <laughs> What is that option, man? No one talks like this. Another doctor. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm sorry, man. All I I don't even need the dark side options anymore. I'm already on the fullest. The, the getting points right now is meaningless. <sighs> I do feel so weak without Guardian Jump. Let's go here. Fucking strength on 23. Damn. They're all gonna die, bro. One hit. Oh, fuck. Really? More where that came from. Come on. Rubble. Ooh, Mandalorian heavy blasters, bro. 211, fully upgradable. Now, I still think the Sith Disrupt is one of the best. That being said, though, this would be better in the long term. Your thoughts are disturbed. Oh! You can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. Echoes. I feel echoes of Echoes! Alright, anyone watching YouTube this later on or streaming, you're supposed to drink alcohol when the word echo is being said. And they actually said it twice. So, get drunk, people. I'll be drinking, uh, this is 50%. Okay. <laughs> That's such a such a dead answer, bro. Okay. Oh shit. Uh oh. More where that came from. Time to do some AoE damage. More where that came from. Oh boy. More where that came from. I shall let this one see. Sigil crystal. Crystal red, yep. That's why I said um I won't go I'm not gonna purchase a red crystal because I'll be getting it in this area. It saves me like what, three hundred credits? It's not much, but I also didn't expect to be there to be so many fucking red crystals, man. Take give me a break. Ooh, Bondar, that's a stun power crystal, I believe. Kendar crystal. crystal My crystal. This is very rare indeed. Okay. <laughs> so dead. It's so dead and pointless. Why are you talking like this, man? We have them all now. I can't change party members. I can. Oh, shit. Hold on. Can I repair him in the meantime? No. Can I uh, computer repair him? I can't. Okay. Anyways, uh, I need to be upgraded. Lightsaber. Red. Mm, yes, good. Good. So I have Fair Cran. Bonda is the stun. Sigil does energy damage 1 to 6 and attack 1. 
And Dragite gives me one constitution and one damage to Sonic. That's weird. But I kind of want to take it. Purely because I have another thing that gives me one constitution, I believe. So it'll be... And then Kenda Crystal. So far, it gives me plus one attack, two charisma, one dexterity, three strength, damage one to dark side. I can attune this the more I level up and the more I go towards the dark side or the light side. And my points will be changed accordingly. That being said, though, this is fucking OP right now. Sith Disruptor so far. Take this one for extra damage, man. And you have a Mandalorian Heavy Blaster. Now, I don't really have anything that to upgrade you with, but... We have a red lightsaber now, people. That looks good. I just need to get another outfit because the Sation Shah is really not fitting me anymore. But yeah. I'm gonna be stuck to... Uh, I'm gonna be wearing clothing now. Now on. Oh shit, my clothing changes because I am dark side? They look so much darker than I remember. I didn't fucking know this. So that's another mod I have. <laughs> Though it might be part of the underwear thing. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh I don't want to have T3. Back to you. I need 3k more XP to level up. And then we're getting uh, prestige. Yeah. Good. Which means we won't be getting as many force powers point points anymore. So that's a sacrifice we have to take. But yeah, our stats now are 23, 19, 21, 14, 12, 13 on normal. Two poison to grenades. Let's settle this. Ah, there he is. Halt, settler. He regards you without Gray. expression. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. The Jedi belongs in this cage. I know that you settlers have a score to settle with Jedi. Trust me, this one's gonna suffer. I'm afraid imprisonment isn't good enough. He must die. I understand how you feel, but he's worth a lot less to us if he's dead. So we're not gonna kill him. And we're definitely not gonna let you kill him. You have no choice in this matter. You're all dead. I warned you. Come on. Alright, time to kill them now. Yeet. God damn it, they're fucking big. They have been assassinated, bro. You just confirmed everything I thought about you. You are a stain to the reputation of the Jedi Order. <laughs> I may have been caged, but I was never helpless. Guard yourself, exile. Enough talk. Oh shit, I'm fighting Vrook. <laughs> You've become strong again, but I know not how. This isn't over, Exile. He's running away! Take him! Fuck. Well, there's more loot to be had here. Adrenal strength. Force Pike. Uh, construction kits. Another CNS strength enhancer. You can take that to do more damage for now. Because I already have one myself. A, a, a lightsaber part. Another Bonadan alloy. I mean, they can be sold for good money, though. So it's not exactly the end. And the order to attack Kunda. Okay. 
Well, time to get out of here. We're very close to getting our prestige. 500 XP. We're basically there already. I believe there's an option to get to uh, Kreia's uh, influence up, and it's by making sure she's in the party for this one. Yes. But Kreia's not someone I'm going to use anymore anyways, so I'm going to keep it here. But she's going to be removed afterwards. Because she's, uh, she aligns a lot with the opinion of the mercenaries. And I am Askul, leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. I've learned that you are planning an assault in Kunda. That's correct, and I want you to help me. Why attack Kunda? You don't need to know the details, but I can tell you there are a lot of credits involved. What's in it for me? According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I'm committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. What do you have in mind? There are many ways someone with your abilities can aid us. Before the action begins, I have two main tasks in mind for you. Disable the gun turrets and the traps. Uh, what about the traps? When the militia learns of our attack, they will plant traps around the entrance. Decide quickly. Okay, I'll help Return you. Return to me when you are ready for us to begin our... Well maneuvered. With both the mercenaries and the militia counting on your aid, you can influence the outcome of the situation as you see fit. Influence gain, Kreia. Get the fuck out of my party. I think I want to get T3 for the getting rid of the traps because unless there's an option to disable them, I do not know. But we'll see. We'll have to get inside Kunda for now. I could also try and disable them manually. If it gives me ex uh, XP, I'll do it. But I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna have to actually. Honestly, he can automatically level up because he's gonna get all the fucking feats in no time. So does this actually give XP? Six, five, seven, nine. Skill too low. I'm sorry. What? It's on thirteen, bro. Androids can fucking level up, jeez. They use intelligence. We don't have anything that has intelligence, do we? Okay, hold on. And and then and then Atten has nineteen. Can Atten disable them? He can. Oh. Okay. Wait, I don't know if it actually gives XP. 6267. I think it does. It's just free XP. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. We can actually prestige now. Not yet. You have befriended the seer. Oh, shit. Well, this is another conversation. Uh, I don't understand how she tracked us down. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the force. And it is how she found you. It is a rare gift. Princess! On her people. Welcome to the stream. Despite your how are you doing? It would be better to deal with her now. Whether you intend I'm doing or slavery, she is a threat to us. Finish the sentence. She serves one of and the you get five credits. <laughs> she is the most trusted. I'm doing shit. <laughs> apprentice. Yet you spare her. Why? There's nothing to be gained by murdering her yet. We shall see. Yes, then thank you. There you go. Such a choice to keep her alive, or perhaps not. Whatever your intentions toward her, keep them restrained, whether mercy or lust. Lust. <laughs> um. Okay, I will deal with her. I promise Is you. So, well, perhaps there will be a second chance for her to inflict harm. So you may test such a statement. It is good that you have never wondered what lay beneath her robes. 
if her alabaster skin was as white as oh no i do wonder what's behind her but beneath her robes she bore the scars of slavery and if that would stir you more if perhaps her deferent tone would change once you held her by the throat and showed her how far a jedi can fall few are the thoughts that can hide in the shadows of your mind exile and such passions are not strength but erosion <sighs> Perhaps, and perhaps not. We shall see. I cannot help but hear you at times, and such curious thoughts they are. Not at all like a Jedi. See to it that you do not ever act upon your impulses. Mating with her will bring more harm. Yes, than Kreia, like mother, grandmother, I solemnly swear that I shall not bend her over and back paddle up her ass. Here is a threat to us. We shall not make to any ki kids. Do not underestimate her. We're going to be completely fine. Loyalty. That's the biggest lie I've just said, by the way. I'm pounding that ass. I'm sorry. Um, if she can through, see through the Force, maybe she can help us find the lost Jedi. Perhaps. I am not convinced. I didn't say the planet was wiped out. It was the only colony of a people in the sect of the galaxy. Indeed he. And what do you make of that? Seems strange to force sensitive world was obliterated. You are right to trust your instincts. Something is wrong. It is only a matter of discovering what and why. If your instincts lead you to an answer, seek me out. Perhaps we will discuss more. Okay. So we first need to actually level up. No, 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 no stealth. Come on now. Persuasion a little bit, treat injury. Repairs. Computer. Beats. Okay, now. I will probably get... Dawn get... What shall I get? I should probably get the saving throws. Medium armor might also be nice. But... Hmm. Saving throws should be good in general. Ah, uh, the deflection rolls is also nice because I'm currently using something that imbalances it. Oh, shit! Okay, we can get three attack rolls. I'm getting that first. Uh, this actually grants... Also grants immunity to poison. I didn't know it would be doing that. What the fuck? And now he gives me five points to attributes. We'll be getting that in a second. Kreia! Ah, you are here. You felt it, Ooh. did you not? Baby! There was a sound... Of like power. I've got to distract him doing good full eating after the time to hide your presence is coming. Oh dare you get distracted. You need to increase your is this not enough? You are ready. Your training must increase. I don't know how many people do it. Higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must okay, know the path you will take. I no, cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? Or is the old hag an enemy the one you're uh, focused Such on? Such is the way of the greatest <laughs> of the Sith marauders who seek strength in war and their rage. Or is it the ways of darkness and shadow that you seek? The power that comes from striking unseen and sensing weaknesses in others. The ways of the assassins of the Sith. Or perhaps your way lies with the Sith and the heart of their darkness. To recognize what strength is and bring that strength to those that follow you and those that defy you. The way of a Sith Lord. I wish to become a Sith Marauder. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next step, you must face your past and put it to rest. You've become a prestige class and taking your first steps to learn the higher mysteries of the Force. And we can all level up again. So now my Dark Mastery adds plus one to eight flat fucking damage. Who the fuck thought this was a great idea? Attributes. I shall be fully focusing this on strength. Get that extra damage. Skills do become very, like, less now. It's an actual problem. But that's fine. Greater prestige sense, uh, sense and increase combat damage. 
So this, with the improved mastery of the force as it related to battle situations, the combat-oriented prestige classes gain plus two defense at level one. An additional plus two for every subsequent five... Do you say it's subsequent or subsequent? I think sequent. Five class levels. These bonuses stack with those of Jedi Sense, uh, but are determined separately for each class. And then we also have... Sith Marauders call upon their hatred and strength to deliver powerful blows. At first level, they do an additional two points of damage with any successful attack. This later becomes four and six damage. We now also get new abilities, which is this feat reduces the attack penalty of a character wielding a double-bladed weapon or two weapons, which I'm not going to focus on. But the other one, the character's skill with lightsabers is almost unmatched. This adds an additional plus one attack bonus to hit with lightsabers for a cumulative total of plus two, plus three, and plus four. After that, I don't think there's anything else I know of. I can now get this uh, final feat. And that's kind of it. So I'll be getting this one first to get the plus two damage with bonus lightsabers. And this bonus lightsaber goes to here, I think, afterwards. Oh, this is the attack bonus to hit. Never mind. But yeah. I think the things I will be focusing on is getting my saves at some point. The fully Jedi defense. I want to start getting my toughness. And I want to also get... Because this one is automatically done. And this one I have to get myself. That's kind of it. Powers. I now unlock something called Fury. I can't see it here right now. So, Fury. This power allows the Sith Marauder to enter Furious Rage. In this state, they gain a plus two strength bonus, plus one vitality point per character level. Plus one to the fortitude and wall saves and are immune to paralysis and stasis effects. Every creature they kill feels their fury more, adding to the damage they do in combat up to a maximum bonus of plus six. But while it is active, we suffer a penalty of defense and it lasts for 30 seconds and i believe okay it's turned off there so i have a mod that turns the effect off but on vanilla your screen turns reddish um so yeah basically that okay kreia you can go because you can come back here uh, you can get your skills, powers, you should probably go get your insanity now. Add in your different story feats. Your sneak attack is getting up there, King. Damn. Um, yeah, probably start upgrading this one at some point. I hear you. That being said, though, maybe I'm lucky, and if I can get T3 to upgrade his demolition in time... Ah, uh, that's why it's not working as well. I can't actually upgrade demolition with the fucker. He also needs in Del... Um, I see. Never mind, then. Sorry. Okay, we have prestige. Nice. I hear you. It would, ju it would just be a little bit fast if I used a T3. But alas, we don't have the luxury. But I, I feel like there's, there's a button that turns them all off, but I, I just don't know myself. I'm probably fucking it up. Charanana. We have to think that he has a... Okay, I can finally start selling some stuff because I have a lot of shit that I don't... I don't need. To make some good money. Now I'm keeping this one. This one I'm actually going to sell because we already have one of these. This one can also go...
So I got a vocabulary. Is that not the thing I'm missing for HK? Or is that just me? That's a droid processor. I just have an extra vocabulator for some reason. Okay. There's more mines there, but I'm actually going to check the inside for now. Admiral, this is Mikau. I have found the exile. Ooh. So does, does Kath show up if you tell that Revan is light-sided or female, maybe? Any luck on getting... Uh, I've recovered your modulator. Excellent. How did you deal with Joring? Uh, he's been dealt with. Really? You must have been very persuasive. I'm nah, he's dead. <laughs> That's the gist of it. More than earn this reward. We have wait light side points. Oh shit! Oh no! No! I didn't know that would have been light sided, because I killed him. Well, shit. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll be getting that dark side point anytime soon. Uh, Matakai Apprentice is pretty nice, though, for some basic stats. That being said, though... So quiet. I need to actually get to a workbench. I need a workbench. Wait, I need to ask uh, to get a specific key to open a few of the doors. Just in time. Terena told me you've been searching for her friend. Well, I'm going to have to ask you to put that this on is... hold for now, as I've been telling Terena. This is so weird, because if you're light-sided, Vrook actually appears here, but he doesn't go back to Kunda. Zeron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Um, I'll check out the defenses. Here is a MasterCard key. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I just needed the MasterCard key so I could get through this. Fuck up their defenses and make sure they have a very bad time. That's why I mentioned... Okay, so these ones are sealed. So it's just the security doors I can open. Gun turret. Okay. Reactivate the droids. That's four repair parts, man. That's a lot of repair parts that I don't want to kind of pay for. Them. Oh, uh, yeah. Modified droid programming to immobilize its patients. The droid will now inject its patients with sedatives. That should keep these wonderful going anywhere soon. Yeah, dark side points. I should be close to getting it back then. Lab station is not what I need, sadly. Private door, security door again. I should have the option to upgrade my crystal from the workbench, or do I have to talk to Kreia first before I can actually do this? Hold on. This is very weird. Oh god, Atten, what Same happened word. to you? Oh no. <laughs> he's also he's gone ugly. <laughs> yes. Uh can you tell me about the Kender Crystal? That crystal is bonded to you. Through you it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Most interesting. Your crystal does not perfectly reflect your current self. Is there something it Okay. I shall be doing that right away, my lady. Get it off me. Damage one energy and keen. Yep, I'll take that. Yes. Let me focus on the crystal. There. Is there So it's now fully in tune. Can the crystal. But I should have a mod that can actually make it so I can just upgrade it without having to. That's kinda weird. So now it does one attack, two charisma, two dexterity, and uh, three strength. Restricted to dark side and neutral, obviously.
Uh, I need to create a couple parts because I have none left. I can break down a couple items. I can get rid of fear cram. A Zabrak blaster pistol, 411, not upgradable. If it's not a Mandalorian Ripper, is actually very good. Why the fuck am I not using this? Okay. Creatable items: melee armor. The one I'm using is this one, which uses demolition. I'm leaving this to Atom. Uh, create armor. Here we go. Then I need create yes. injury, which you probably have the highest of. Having said that, I still need to look for uh, components for a lightsaber. There's these ones. The ones I need are probably for repair, actually. Damage bonus plus two. Yeah, they cost the repair for repair. I need to get someone with the repair skills. There's the Adagan. This one does four fucking damage on energy, but it uses awareness. Okay, this is very... Oh, attune the Kenda crystal. Oh, I need a specific... Uh... Ah. Okay, I see. Well, from one strength and uh, one constitution, we go to two of each. And from 10% damage immunity to energy, we go to 20, which is pretty good. Because that's mostly for lightsabers. Sith Disruptor. Yeah, you need to be using the fucking Ripper, man. This is bullshit. I hear you. Don't use the Mandalorian. Uh, yeah, take the, uh, the Ripper. It's unstoppable damage. Uh, anyways. Let me actually... Get this buffed up again. Oh man, this is annoying. I'm actually gonna hold on. Save the game. I need I need T3 for this. This is too much. Okay, but I do need a couple more uh, uh, repair paths. Create. Okay, this should be enough though. Get these ones. Take the hydro spanner, fuck it. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, slice the computer. Uh, uh, change defense droid target priority to defend hostiles. Engage. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Good. That's a bunch of XP for us. All right. I hear you. We go to the next thing that we have. Because we can still go to the other side, basically. There's more, more options for us. Private door. This door is open. Nope, it's not the one we need. This is the one we need, though. Slice the computer. Deactivate. Change the target priority uh, to attack only friendlies. Do we have five spikes? Yep. Okay, that's another 500 XP for us. Close to leveling up. 
No, well, I mean, 9k is actually not that bad. Considering we're going to get into a massive fight and we're probably going to get tons of XP from just killing them and then just completing quests and the like. These are all private doors. Okay. So I'm kind of done with the defenses. The only thing I need to do is deactivate more mines. And that's kind of it. And then we get into the fight. Ooh. Intriguing. That being said, though, I think my crystal's not fully attuned because I just, I accidentally got a light side point and it fucked everything up. That being said, though, I'm, 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 I'm still doing tons of fucking damage. Say the word. Oh, you gotta get rid of these, man. I just wish you were a little bit faster because, by God, this is just taking the piss. Why doesn't everyone just get droid speed? Longevity of the game, man. Your game, your game playthrough is now five, five seconds, five minutes longer. Oh, it feels like five minutes. Like mine average. Drag mine average. And another five. Uh, I'll go back to the mercenary. I will take a small break to get a drink when I get there. Um, and then we'll keep going. Because we still got like, we got an hour and a half or so. We're still busy for, for the time being. I think that's kind of it. I do need to get a new armor though. This isn't really uh, thrilling anymore. Oh, the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna go safe normally. Safe two in combat. Uh, and I'll be taking a very small break. So I'll be back in about two, three minutes or so. Um, have patience. I'll be right back. Huh?
I am the Dark Lord. Now I've returned. I mean, I'm pretty much black in clothing. So. If I could just green screen everything black, I'd have like a floating head. Be amazing, bro. Ooh, running on the stairs just gets all my fucking... It shows how tired I can get. All right, anyways, let's get going. Are you ready? I won't wait. Uh, our assault is ready to begin. The fools and cowards of Kunda won't know what hit them. Yeah. Good. I will deploy men to surround Kunda and attack all three entrances. Yes, sir. I recommend you focus your attack on their weakest entrance. I don't need lessons in tactics from a Jedi. Fuck off. Move out, men. Bitch. Come on, Jedi. You're leading the first wave. I'm doing what now? Well, here we go. I don't got energy faces. Look at the battle music in there. My reasons are my own. And I will ensure that your reasons go to the grave with you, Fakunda. Oh, I can change my com no, I keep the same ones. I am anger. Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh the game is fucking lagging. It can't keep up this shit. Time to get angry. On the sleep. Yeah, you become our healer today. Please. Okay, back to uh, intention. Bro, he, I had like four rolls and did like 200 damage and he still wasn't dead. Still, a lesson must be taught about resistance. Kill everyone. I, yes, sir. Uh -oh. I should have stopped you long ago. Your machinations end here, outcast. You've lived too long, old man. No more words. Defend yourself or perish. Uh oh. Oh my god! I forgot how much damage he could do. Oh shit! Really? Is am I doing the tactic of running behind trees fucking again? Ah, I mean, it works. All right, let me get all the buffs up. Holy shit, bro. Motherfucker does damage. All right, this should be enough, I think. All right, it's, it's now a nothing, though. Oh, my God. Observe how he handles his lightsaber. He is using Ataru in aggressive form, best suited for Bro, I know it was hard, but damn, this guy's a challenge. Or by using Blaster Fire. Be wary of his power attack, however, as it is further enhanced using this form. I need to fucking attack him again. Are you arrogant enough to think you can divide your attention while fighting me? One can learn much simply from observing their opponent. You think you can learn my technique just by watching me? It takes a Jedi Master years to perfect it. It takes years for Jedi to learn anything, restrained as they are by the Jedi Code. It's not possible. You I am pretty dangerous, but I'm also pretty much fucked. 
Oh, bro, he does damage. Oh, I sucked him in. I forget, you eat him. <laughs> I feel stronger. What happened? It is something the Sith, the assassins that stalkers can do. It is of the dark side, the ability to feed on life, the force. The closer one comes to it, it makes the Bro, I ate him. Tide. I ate his force. What technique is it? Not all techniques in the force are learned through practice and training. This is something instinctual, born from experience. It is a way that they fill the hollow places where the force used to be. You should have let him live. He would have fetched a fine price on Narshada. Kunda is ours, thanks in part to your assistance. Here. Take your reward, Jedi. Do you think I deserve more credits? I'm already giving you. Mm. No, if you'll excuse me, I have a date with the administrator. Having said though, eight thousand credits ain't bad. Hello, my lady. The Republic won't stand for what you've done here. You'll pay for your crimes. I was going to make it a painless death, but you've been much more difficult than you had to be. Now you're going to pay. Uh, she did. A double bladed lightsaber, maximum force points increased, 8,000 credits, 750 XP. Nice, we get a double bladed lightsaber? I mean, I don't need it myself, but. Ooh. And this blade's remaster looks fucking good. Damn. Well, not for me though. 1537. Bro, I do almost the same amount of damage as my normal lightsaber. What the fuck? You can take this one, though. Also, you don't have anything active. Put something on your body, for God's sake. Feet. Uh, yeah, given as you're going double-bladed. Take this, fuck now. Uh, kill, force... A turn. Heroic resolve. What is this? Oh. Oh, when knocked unconscious, there's a chance he will get back up ready for more action, provided someone else in the party still standing. If he returns to fight, he'll come back. Oh, so he gets more health back as he stands up again. Okay. Well. We fucking did it. That is locked. Okay. The shop guy is also dead, sadly. It's a shame. Uh, we're done with uh, Dantui. We've also learned Ataru, which gives us um, defense minus two, defense against the current target plus five, blast ball deflection minus four, weapon threat plus one. Nah, not a big fan of that one. Oh, I can still loot him. Jedi Master Robes. I mean, it's nice to have them. But, um... It doesn't fit me. <laughs> I don't really feel like a Jedi Master. I've gone to the Marauders, man. So we're kind of... We're sort of done with Dantry. There's a couple... We'll have to get back here at some point anyways. Outside of the whole uh, fit final quest. But a uh, multi shield generator, damage immunity to a lot of things. Damn. A small pouch with a Gamorian cleaver. How the fuck do you fit such a massive weapon in a pouch, bro? The fuck do you put in these things, man? Is the vendor here alive? No, he's dead. They also killed him. My baby. Huh? <gasps> Is that the processor we need? Oh shit, we have the final piece to get HK back. Nice, I wanted him as soon as possible. Ah, oh, great. You think it they would let it rest, man? Necessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. Huh? 
Everyone is now really starting to do damage against us. It's like the difficulty suddenly amped up. Failing master. That being said, though, I also do a lot of damage here. Another droid processor. <laughs> Can you kill this guy? I think you can. I don't care much about him. Um, I thought there was an option. Nah, I'm not gonna get into Pazark for now. Maybe later though. Gamoran war gloves. I'm sorry. What defense bonus <coughs> to three, but dexterity minus two. What the fuck? Mm. I guess it works with someone using uh, heavy armor because you don't get a bonus on dexterity anyway, so that defense is nullified. Oh boy, Kraya and T3. This can't be good. She's coming in with an. Hey. Why are you bullying him? What the fuck? Okay, I need to get my dark side points back, man. What the fuck? Come on. You can't just have this sort of shit. Why are you here? Oh, I came to speak to you. You have come to ask me questions. Try to find out. I see where your loyalty lies. She oh, okay, so... So, I've actually con gone to the point where she doesn't want to talk to me. I literally mentioned this in, like, the previous stream. Is she going to lead me to those who seek to destroy me? You answer her deception with deception of your own? This is the end between us. I will aid you against the enemies we face. But when it is settled, you shall not see me again. There is nothing for us. And now she doesn't want to talk to me. Alright, well, you know what, bitch? I didn't even fucking need you in my life. Get out of my face. Anyways, HK, buddy, you're more important. Let me get your repairs done. There's a low hum from within the droid and the sound of a circuit sparkling. A sparking. Restoring power throughout the droid system. <gasps> Diagnostic. HK-47 activated. Running checks through primary systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. And my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. <laughs> um, any idea what happened to you? Answer. It seems you would know more than I. My memory centers are experiencing some setbacks. Reflection. Of course, for some reason, that does not alarm me. I suspect I have suffered such repeated memory failures before. Still, the loss of my higher combat and assassination protocols is shameful and degrading. Um, you're an assassin droid? Recitation. Yes, as I said, I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat. <laughs> Are you ready to serve me? Answer. Yes, Master. HK-47 is ready to serve. Okay, so we now have HK in our party. I need to level him up first before I can actually do stuff with him. Statement. Master. I must say it is a pleasure to be working side by side with you. And why is that? Statement. Just when I believe my photoreceptors have recorded the last potential aspect of your cruelty to my memory core, you commit a new atrocity that leaves me <laughs> analyzing its impact for days. You are like a delightful random cruelty generator master, <laughs> poisoning all you touch with your presence. You are a testament to all organic me 
seat bags everywhere. Uh, stick with me, you'll pick up a few things. Statement. I have already learned a great deal, Master. And I'm anxious to learn more of lying betrayal and new ways to harm innocence. God, we're like a bunch of fucking St dangerous people out here. I mean, I will ask you questions without torturing Statement. you. Master, I am no behavior droid. Very yeah, 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 yeah. Um, for a sophisticated assassin droid, you don't seem as advanced as you should Statement. be. You wound me. Not physically, but in my behavior core. It is true that I once possessed many more protocols and upgrades. But time and damage has taken its toll. And I am afraid that I have a rather long history of memory problems, which has also compromised my effectiveness as well. Still, you will find me a valuable asset master, willing and able to terminate anything you point me towards. I have some other questions. Statement. Um, do you know what love is? Here we go. Answer. Many organic meat bags find that question difficult to answer, Master. But I believe I can provide you with a satisfactory definition. Go on. Definition. Love is making a shot to the knees of a target 120 kilometers away using an Aerotech sniper rifle with a tri light scope. There you have it, people. That is what love means. Just want to say. Nothing else to it. That is the best definition of love I've ever heard. Statement. This definition, I am told, is subject to interpretation. Obviously, <laughs> love is a matter of odds. Not many meatbags could make such a shot. And strangely enough, not many meatbags would derive love from it. Yet for me, love is knowing your target, putting them in your targeting reticle, and together achieving a singular purpose against statistically long odds. St um, do you know anything about the Sith hunting us? No, Master, I do not. I am afraid I have been out of touch with the Sith for many years. This new Sith threat fights differently than the ones I was familiar with. These seem to favor stealth and assassination to achieve their ends. Any idea where they might be striking from? No, Master. The Sith had many hidden bases and strongholds before and during the Jedi Civil War, and I doubt the Republic found them all. Theory, it is possible that the Sith still hold one such base, if not several. Consolation. But I would not worry, Master. I imagine it will not be long before their murderous hands try to seize you by the throat. Twi'lek metaphor. Don't <laughs> abosi dikita masi soringada. Why is he suddenly speaking? What? You say that again. Master, I picked up a sonic imprint sense on Paragus. It doubles as a translator. May I see it? Uh, of course. Indeed, it seems to be modeled after my vocabulator, with some modifications, of course. Curious. You say you obtained this device? Yes. Shortly before the planet was destroyed. Observation. Master, I do believe this device serves multiple functions, including tracking your position for any HK units in the vicinity. Can you use it to track them? Yeah, so I fucked up doing this because I didn't bring HK in my party in my previous uh, Let's Play. So we didn't actually get to see the HK factory, but I'm going to try and do it this time. So we just wait. Answer. Master, the nature of the signal from the sonic imprint sensor is such that we must wait until it is signaled. It does not please me any more than it does you, but what are the primary traits of an assassin or assassin droid? Is patient. I think that's going to be it for now. Dark side points, HK47. Fuck's sake, man, I need more. <sighs> you seem to have seen better days. I could repair you. Sir, please go at cautionary, but please do so carefully. 
I have seen how you use a hydro spanner. Ooh. Analysis. My self-diagnostic indicates that my performance has indeed been improved. Also, many of my systems oh, shit. are reporting improved. I kind of wish that even with the mod, he could turn red instead of... Turn of events. It would appear that my initial analysis of your mechanical ability... Instead of the gray version. He's received a permanent bonus to his dexterity and the influence has been gained. Answer. I can repair him again, but I'll probably fail this one. Analysis. Oh shit! Oh, he's red now! Yes! Yeah! Query. Let me actually... I had a question. Uh, what's the problem? Um, yeah, I am. Why? Well, master, I was not at Malachor Five during your near genocidal reaction to the Mandalorian threat. <laughs> you can put I it that way. I may have been constructed as a result of that. Care yeah, to explain? Observation. I believe that Revan determined that mass slaughter on such a scale may no longer be needed to achieve his aims. So perhaps you are responsible for my creation. So you were created during the Mandalorian Wars? Answer. No, Master. I was constructed shortly after the beginning of the Jedi Civil War. What targets were you assigned? Answer. Well, Master, unless you were operating on my central control cluster, I would be somewhat hesitant to discuss my targets. But I suppose it could do no harm. During the Jedi Civil War, I was responsible for certain strategic targets. For some reason, Revan did not feel that the Republic... Hey, Tree, welcome to Shreem, buddy. How are you doing? Aside, I am somewhat unclear as to why this was so, but Revan did have a certain biological instinct regarding such things. So I will simply say that there were probably reasons for such an assessment. Why did Revan consider the Republic not a threat? Master, ah, I need to get more influence, damn it. Which side did you fight on? Oh, Master, please use your imagination. I am an illegally constructed assassin. Man, I fucking love HK, I'm sorry, I have to say it. I know he's an assassin droid, but fuck, man. He's my guy. Clarification. Well, yes, perhaps concerning the somewhat morality of the Republic Senate that would leave some doubt as to my allegiance answer very well yes opening I like 4k equipment boxes in as a lane okay that's um that's gonna be a uh, how long will you be doing that <laughs> sounds like you have your the rest of your life pretty much <laughs> you have your you have your goals already Okay, so he's partially repaired now. I am done with Dantooine so far. We finished everything about that in the planet. Um, I'm unlikely to finish today. Yes. I would have expected as much. Okay. Um, alright, alright, alright. HK. E3. Can I try and repair something from you? Ready for some repair routines. Failure. Okay. What about computer? Success! Okay, it's so a game plus one intelligence and wisdom. I'm close to leveling up. Now, will we be doing... Uh... The canon way, legends wise, was it Dantui Narshada Onderon or is it Dantui Onderon Narshada? I think it was Dantui Narshada Onderon Korriban Onderon. Could be wrong though. 
We'll have to... We'll just... Well, you know what? We'll do Noshada next. Fuck it. Um, actually, no. Hold on. Let's get back to Telos. Because now that we have HK, we can start getting... Uh, st we can start attacking the HK droids. And we will be attacked on Telos. But I have to get HK as a companion. So, yeah. Has there been any sign of the ship? No, mistress. Yes, we're back at this planet, my lady. We do not know where they travel now. The freighter. It is important. And I thought the droid was as well, but I was wrong. Mistress, we still do not know the significance of the ship or the droid. We downloaded all you asked, but we are still no closer to the answers you seek. Then perhaps we will need to have faith that your sister will change her mind, remember her oath, and return to us with the answers we seek. I hope so, mistress. But there has been no word of her since she departed with the other four on the freighter. Four? Yes, mistress. The Iridonian, the Ichani-trained pilot, the exile, and the old woman. Old woman? Yes, mistress. I do not recall seeing her. Mistress, she was secured for much of the time the exile was here. At other times, you were meditating, and we did not wish to disturb you. It kind of fucked mistress, up, my lady. Is there something wrong? I am tired. I sometimes feel as if things are collapsing all around us. It is just at the edge of perceptions, waiting. I fear, I fear things will collapse before our enemies reveal themselves. Yes, mistress. I will meditate upon this. Perhaps it will clear my mind. Okay. Well, anyways. <sighs> what do you mean, Pazak? What, again? This is Ronto Scrag. What house rule says I have to go first? Yeah, well, I'm still not convinced you aren't cheating. Warning. If you draw another plus minus one card, I will enact assassination protocols. <laughs> is cleaning me out. <laughs> Can I play? Sure, but I don't have it. You know what? Fuck it. We'll do a, we'll do a round of Pazark. Just one, okay? We don't have any cards. But this woman to sleep already, so she isn't tired all the time. Yeah, I, she's meditating all the time. That's the fucking issue. All right. Can't wait to lose against Atten. Why does he call him opponent? His name is... I need to double click. Yeah! It was pretty fun, actually. Yeah, it gets more fun in Nara Shadar because there's an actual fucking competition. I um, I sometimes play it on the phone because there's an app for it. But, um, yeah, it doesn't really... Yeah, fuck. Nothing I could do there. Oh, shit. Oh my god, so this one is basically the decider for who wins. Oh boy. Fuck, he won! Ah, oh, man, that's so annoying. Ah. Oh. Uh. Oh well. If I get more cards, maybe. You were right. There is no defeat. Bro, let me play, man. All these fucking cutscenes. Patiently, our time will come. You are not to blame, servant of Atreus. You only wished what was best for him, and he cast it aside. He is the one to blame, to forsake such a gift. I feel that there is a lesson in such a thing. Perhaps you might have done more, but it is of no matter now. Oh, this is because she doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Like I mentioned in the previous stream. Did we? Oh, we went back to Telos, of course. Okay. So we have a Jedi Sentinel, a combat droid, and then you have me, who's not a Jedi Sentinel anymore. I am now a Sith Marauder because of the prestige. Yeah, Sith Marauder level one, baby. Yes, master. His skills don't matter as much to me. I do hate how he 
they fucking distribute strength to his fucking ass, even though he can't use any melee weapons, as far as I know. Yeah. The Arcanium Blaster might be nice to start out with. The Blaster Rifle can be fully upgradable, but let's keep it like this for now until we can actually upgrade it later on. So, because he's an assassin droid, he does get these ones, which gives him... Uh, uh, grants defense bonuses in combat at plus two at level one and increases every six levels. He also has assassin protocols, a leftover from HK-47's days as an assassin droid. When a critical hit is achieved, there's a 20% chance that extra damage equal to one quarter of the target's remaining life applied after normal damage is dealt will be dealt. A successful fortitude, but target can avoid this extra damage and this will be improved later on. Uh, I'm going to get him plus to the bonus on the blasters. Because HK is going to be a companion that I'll be using for the remainder of my playthrough. So I want to make sure this fucker is ready to do my bidding. This allows him to get extra rounds in here, which is kind of something I do deem important. But this one just does plus extra damage, so it might also be nice. You know what, fuck it. Might as well. Um, yeah, I'll be doing this. That's completely fine. Beats. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, give me some feats, man. There we go. Uh. He already does 10 to 21 damage. It's basically just almost as much as I do. With just existing. Takes a bonus. So this one gives 5 bonus, but it gives immunity to... Yeah, but I, I'd like to get the plus 1 on the plasma. is very powerful, and something iron-related might also be nice. Actually, this does 60 fire damage. This is iron 50 damage. This is three dexterity. This gives you another bit of dexterity, and this one will be for either constitution, dexterity, and defense bonus. Mm. Yeah, we'll put it on the bonus now because. Okay. 24 dexterity, 35 bonus. Motherfucker is stacked on stats. Jesus. I'm so happy we actually get Fury as an ability now. I'm still... This is one of my favorite abilities in the game now. Just so easily done. Opa. Coupled with our uh, own crystal. Which I need to tune again once I get my full dark side points again. Because I fucked up with one of the dialogue options. Anyways, that being said though, we should be attacked here. Yep, that's correct. It has been a while, but the fuckers are here. I can skip through this though. I don't. Yeah, they're just gonna attack me anyways. That. 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 Okay! Annihilated. You wanna talk to me? Or there's no talk option? Okay. You have met one of the HK-50. However, HK-47 still needs two more in order to acquire the factory's location. That is completely fine. We can't get the ones in Dan to wean. That's okay. I'll upgrade my computer use and stuff. Um, right. So now that we are Marauder, we can finally start getting this one. Character skill with lightsabers almost a match. Adds an additional plus one attack bonus to hit with lightsabers. Okie dokie. I think I want to focus on this one for now. Some Marauder stuff. Yeah. Good. Good. Very nice. That's it, though. I just wanted to go here for the uh, HK droids, and then we just move on back to the ship.
More cutscenes. Statement. My memory core has suffered some damage. Statement. Yet somehow, a gap in my circuits makes me feel as if I should remember you. Statement. They were both companions in the first game. Routine inspection of all potential escape routes from this vessel. I made an interesting discovery. Observation. The Nava computer is voice locked. As a consequence, you are now responsible for course corrections and astrogation. Statement. That is indeed a great burden. <laughs> it also raises many questions. Query. Why would someone lock the Nava computer? Answer. Presumably to hide where one has been. You're gonna get stunned, bro. I believe you've been somewhere. Somewhere you wish to keep hit. The droid has gone ape shit. Okay. Yes, I get to move around. Fucking awesome. Fucking great. Oh yeah, HK now, and who's the evil one? <laughs> to be fair, a T3 is protecting someone's... Uh, basically a, a person, to be exact. Some things can't be known. Um, Query, is there someone? Okay, uh, let me get my valor. Query. See if I can repair him again. Answer. Analysis. Oh Diagnostic. shit! Plus one to Constitution, Influence Query. Games. Try again. Answer. Exclamation. No. Okay. Do we have any? No. Oh god, I lose influence if I fuck it up every time. Oh shit. Okay. Do I have anything that can? Um... This is plus three repairs. Will this be enough though? Save the game. I'm okay with one stats Query. lost. Analysis. Ah! My plus two to dexterity. Influence gained. Query. That's it. He's fully repaired now. Okay. So he has fully full stats now again. Okay, great. I do want to get some dark side points, so I'll probably Actually, you know what? I know I I'll talk to Vices for a bit. See if I can uh my life or yours. Oh yeah, I can teach her some of my forms. What the fuck? I understand. See it. Uh, see to it that you master what I have taught. Okay. My life. Um. Who sent you? I serve my master. I am an emissary, a scout. My master was aware of a disturbance in the force, but was unaware of its nature. Of you. The disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my master does not know, and that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. I need to know where I can find your master. Oh. His vessel roams the borders of known space. And even I do not know where he travels. Until he calls for me. Even if I could lead you to my master. I cannot permit you to find him. I wanted to be cocky and say I can probably kill him. But given how my fight went with Vruk. I actually struggled fighting someone with a lightsaber. So... Ready? If I bring you before my master, untested, without your potential realized, then you will be lost to me. And I cannot allow that to happen. It would be as if one brought fire to a paradise valley, shattered a cavern of rare crystal, or blinded a painter. I will decide when I am ready, and I command you to bring me before him. It is a choice that can be made by neither one of us. Dang it. Do not be so quick to meet that which you do not understand. Use the time you have now to... What I am now, I'm level 60. ...and to strengthen yourself. Dang it. I'm ready to confront him now. You will meet my master, and when 
God damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. Realize what you face. You must be prepared. Until then, I must protect you, help you, until you are ready. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Still not. God fucking get over here. Can I just ask that? Hold on. Are you are you all right? I am able to serve. If we enter battle, I will fight and die alongside you. Oh, is this this feels like a light side option? Fuck! I feel like I just chose a light side option. No! Forgive Wait, hold on. <laughs> There's only that weak servant. There's no use at all. Surely the Sith has tortured that. And then I can go back to being a fucking dickhead again. I must warn you. If you weaken yourself for me, then it will I, 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 Bro, my character is bipolar. I'm telling you. He's got fucking multiple personalities. I don't understand where your power over the dark side comes from. You are too even-tempered and submissive. Oh my tastes. There is more to the Sith than simply rage or slaughter. There are many kinds of hate. And all of them have the call of the dark side in them. The galaxy is filled with many such evils. And rarely have I seen anything else. Very Light side, dark side, gained, lost. Jesus Christ. Well, I've, I've My life. made no progress. Uh... Was your master the one sent to Paragus? I'm not familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space for some time, but there are others who may move more freely, who may have been responsible for such an act of destruction. What do you mean? There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. The death of all Jedi. Everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi, and their hatred of the Jedi unites them. All their eyes are upon you, and it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. Bitch, give me points. <laughs> Query. Um. I found a navy, navy computer. Actually, no, I can probably... Uh, hold on. I can get to... I've already done this conversation. Uh, up until I... Yes, success! The true war was against the Jedi. Observation. It was not something discussed with much of the others, but I think Revan recognized that a single Jedi, both in the past and in the present, could turn the tide of a conflict. So my targets were frequently Jedi, or someone close to a Jedi that could result in their corruption or collapse. Revan often assigned me to kill leaders or supporters of certain Jedi so as to erode their will. Where did those tactics come from? Answer. Revan saw the pressures of war on Duxon and knew that even in the heat of conflict, Jedi could be broken, not physically, but psychologically. Observation. It is a curious thing to assassinate and wound someone's personality, to assassinate them psychologically, and it took me some time to reconcile the acts. I am much more used to their direct approach. Still, Shoot him in the I head between the eyes. And killed many Jedi. If I need to kill a Jedi, how would I do it? <laughs> Master. Master Damn it! Master. It needs an influence check. You kill Jedi? It wasn't always easy, and I had to adapt quickly to rapidly changing battle conditions. And they would often sever my limbs and my head from my torso, which was an inconvenience. It sounds like you killed a lot of them. Answer. Oh, yes, Master. I hope none of them were friends of yours. But really, they had it coming. I do not know when the Jedi ceased to be adherents to their code, but many did not tread cautiously, and many were quite arrogant when facing a droid, as if we were somehow beneath them. It gave certain kills and added pleasure when being underestimated. Uh, uh, it took pleasure in it? Cautionary. Master, don't take this the wrong way. But in my opinion, a black 
blaster shot to the throat is often the best way of silencing Jedi hypocrisy. I have found many Jedi if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Practitioners of pacifism when it is convenient for them. Also, their tendency to never directly answer a question is rather annoying. How many did you kill? Statement. I do not have the exact counts, Master. Since it is difficult to determine who was a Jedi and who was not, it seemed to be largely a matter of perspective. I did kill many soldiers who used techniques in combat that could make them be considered Jedi, although they call themselves Sith. Yeah, there's a clear instinct difference, but I guess for him it's literally just jibber jabber. Everyone's the same. What the fuck is that droid doing? You guys can't see it, can you? That's annoying. Uh, the droid literally behind my face is having an absolute field day. He's tripping. He's saying Revan intended to break the Jedi? Revan ordered us to kill Mandalorians of Malachor, not Jedi. Observation. Master, I do not believe that the Mandalorians were the true target at Malachor. I believe that the intention was to destroy the Jedi, break their will, and make them loyal to Revan. I do not know if you examined the records of the deaths on Malachor, but you cannot escape that many of the Jedi in Republic he is speaking the truth, though. were not Revan's strongest supporters. Observation. I believe that Revan was cleaning house at Malachor 5. What ones did not die became Revan's allies against the Republic. Answer. I do not know when the Jedi ceased to be adherent. Oh, this is. Oh, we've already had this conversation. So the, I only need to know the if I would need to kill a Jedi, but I can't get through that. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost placed a fucking mine in the ship. I think that's it though. I don't know if I can ask more. Mm. You look a lot like a series of droids that have attacked Answer. me. Oh, that is impossible, Master. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. And Arrogance. I am a unique model. Why to think that there would be other versions of me would be unacceptable. <laughs> Well, there's at least four other now defunct versions of you in the galaxy. Statement. Master, I must inform you that your attempts at humor are wasted on a droid such as I. As I have expressed, I am unique. Actually, this is a series of HK-50 units sharing your model and function that we have encountered on multiple occasions. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist in your attempts at humor, <laughs> I shall indulge you. This is so if petty. <laughs> then we will settle this matter once and for all. Conclusion. You speak the truth. This discovery is also causing me some degree of anger and humiliation. Yeah, are you alright? Mockery. Am I alright? Oh, yes, Master. Why, I am fine. Statement. I mean, I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me running all over the galaxy, corroding my good name. But if they are in fact hunting you, then I look forward to the We've already met a unit though, so this is a very weird conversation. We literally come back from killing some fifty units. So it seems I need you for the time being. Okay. That didn't do jack shit. Mm. Who's your previous master? is a question that has an extremely complicated answer. You see, I do not believe my master knew who he was most of the time, which led to some confusing situations that could Okay, have been I get where this is going. I'm not sure I understand. Clarification. Suffice to say that my master had his ups and downs and, in my opinion, traveled from a high point in his life to a low point. And then back again to his true potential. He could be a merciless, efficient killer when the need arose. It really made my behavior core glow. And even as a meat bag, my master still had some remarkably efficient droid-like qualities which I admired. He too 
suffered memory problems as I did. It's funny, yeah, I get it. it HK is basically the, the the previous master, at least so far what I remember, is just the character from the first game, who's Revan. And his mind was wiped by the Jedi Council, which is why he had memory issues, because he basically had a blank slate and he had a different uh, background history implanted into his brain to know who he is. Um, but everything that he's done in the past was literally just taken away and he couldn't get those memories back until way later, at least not in the game. In the game, you at least realize who you were, but it's in the book that I didn't really like as much but in the book he does regain uh, his memories uh, memory problems Statement. oh yes master as indicated upon my reassembly my central control cluster is damaged making recalling my previously stored assassination protocols difficult I hope that over time I shall eventually reach the status and skill I possessed before I was damaged what's the last thing you remembered Yeah. Why? Answer. Even with my memory impairment, I recall that my master was about to embark on a dangerous journey. Conjecture. I believe there was something about my master's destination yeah. that he did not wish me to know. Okay. Well, at least we get a bit of a backstory, but it doesn't help us in any fucking way. Uh, let's just you know what let's just head on to Nashadal for now get some content out it's been a, it's been some time okay galaxy map Nashada. here we go oh, I thought the fucking game was gonna crash it can crash during cutscene sometimes well, here we are the smugglers move because of a certain mod Nalhuda, swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian Wars and the Jedi Civil War ended up on Nar Shadda, from all sides of the conflict. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Nar Shadda's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If you wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. Let's take the Ebon Hawk in for a landing. We plotted a course for the refugee sector and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's gonna find us here. I love the absolute massive fucking red flag you gave us. You idiot. It's weird how, as far as I know, Narshada has never been seen in live action. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if the first appearance was actually in the... Uh, Jedi Knight series, you do go to Nashada in Dark Forces 2? Actually, no, I think you begin in Nashada in Dark Forces 2. Third movie? Revenge of the Sith? That's Coruscant. I don't think you go to... I don't believe you go to Nashada in, in the movies, at least in the trilogy. The second trilogy? Perhaps you have heard that the Jedi You mean Revenge of the Nar Sith? Shada. While he walks upon the smuggler's moon, he is not to be harmed. You may watch him, observe his movements, but nothing more. In two thousand some yeah, so that's Revenge of the Sith. No, that's Coruscant, not uh Narshada. They have similarities in the way that they're very dense city-based planets. Pretty sure there were some very high houses and stuff. Yeah, the buildings are very high. 
Ako ay Mariam Gawata Sito in Sula Raka Raka Chata. Tama so King Chuda Wanka. Lopi Una Wala Si Chukora Tawa. But yeah, it is uh, Coruscant. Request. If Goto's death What's the name of the planet? No, it's fine. I don't. I don't mind. I. I. I like to indulge in the information, anyways. I get. I get that for someone that doesn't really follow Star Wars as much. Nashada and Coruscant and look exactly the same. And you know what? I'm not gonna blame anyone for it because they do have a ton of fucking similarities. Observation. Jedi follow the self-destructive path of pacifism and tolerance. They will not attack first. In which the first six movies and played some games. Oh, that's fine. I wish I could have said I also watched the first six movies. Alas, I also had the... Uh, the time to watch the sequels, which I like to not mention at all. Ah, the Thank beautiful stench and decay of desperate living. Teens with life, it is difficult. Ah, oh, beautiful, Nashada, man. A place so alive with the Force, yet so dead to it. The contrast is like a blade. Welcome to Narshada, towering buildings kilometers high and miles deep, with canyons so wide you could have a dogfight in them. Word of warning: watch where you step. You'll fall for hours. The Ebon Hawk looks a little exposed. A little, but landing here means we didn't have to transmit our ID signature. You know what trouble that always brings. In fact, while we're here, we should get those signatures changed. Wouldn't make us such a target when we enter a new system. Let's move on. All right, then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? It does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Basically, game mechanic. Stay on the ship and meditate some more. Don't let us stop you. <laughs> um, be silent and come with right. me. If you have any questions, just ask. We sh you. Okay. Oh you shit. Uh oh. What's with you? Letting that piece of junk sink its trust into my landing pad. Junk? You're lucky my ship's grazing your trash heap. <laughs> my trash heap. Land there. My trash heap's all it's keeping your ship from making a final plunge. And trust me, it won't be long in coming, I promise you. I got some visitors booked for your space. But I'm sure the two of you can work it out when they arrive. Okay. I'll be taking HK, thank you very much, and some vices. Time to uh, move out, squat. Time to get some dark side points, baby. You wander too far here when we warn you what happened. What happened? But you're kind not listen. Oh, okay. Break legs. Maybe you not wander so far, bro. Did they just be go backwards in language? We can't survive there. You've got us locked in. Let me place you. Let me place it there. Not here. Um. I'm just a spectator who wants to see how this plays out. Threaten me again, it'll be the last thing you do. Okay, well, I guess we do get to fight. Actually, let me get my Marauder ability. Who the fuck? Bro! Why did you get rid of your blaster? You're starting to punch him. Stop that. Nice. Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. I may str I may still cripple you if you prove useless to me. If you save me to cripple me again, then you're worse than they are. What do you want with me? Uh, ah, just shut up and get out of here. 
There we go. Dark Mastery is finally back with my flat out 1 to 8 extra fucking damage. I appreciate this a ton. One credit. My man had one single credit. Oh, I can't wait to get in uh, influence lost on Kraya. To those exchanges, thug stranger. Can you spare a few credits? Maybe help another refugee in need. <sighs> get out of here before I kill you. Forgive me, stranger, please. I beg you, do not kill me. Why did you do such a thing? Giving into your feelings over such a small matter. They would be I wonder safe. where she is. I don't know this re this location. It doesn't look like. I'm wasting my time threatening slaves and refugees. And what would you rather do? Mm. It is difficult to exercise my power when life's obstacles are as significant as this. Force binds all things. The smallest push, the smallest touch sends echoes throughout life. Echoes, the get drinking, lads. Come on, we know how this goes. It's been known or can see. This is the third echo of the stream. God damn it. <laughs> Your nonsense is starting to bore me. But in the end, nothing is gained by it. Indeed. Listen. Feel the echo. Echo, drink again. Cruelty Come on, lads. Get your fucking shim. Uh. And when one suffers, it is the way of life to spread suffering. The suffering within builds until its sound is all one hears. And when a kindness is offered, it is punished. And a greater darkness is served. From one act can come tremendous... Echo, get drinking again. <laughs> Send a great echo. And again! Come on, get your shots ready. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> oh my god, we've had like six echoes. Jesus Christ. I'm actually going to cause the death of a viewer at some point. I'm telling you, that's what's going to happen. Um, wait, hold on. Give me. Yes, attune the candle crystal. It's not in tune with you. You need to remove it from your lightsaber in order to. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to do this all the fucking time. I want to upgrade it. Okay, it's now fully attuned again, which means the the lightsaber crystal now. Oh, I got a pillar. When the fuck did I get a pillar? Anyways. Um, it does plus one attack, two charisma, two dexterity, three strength, and now it also does damage plus two, uh, dark side. Okay, so we have Dragite, but we can also get a pillar, which does 212 damage on critical hit, and damage plus fucking three. God damn. Damn, bro. Fuck me, this is amazing. Alright, I need to... See if I can create anything lightsaber related that I might actually need. I mean, this would be better, yes. This would require repair. This does 2 to 12 energy damage and stuff. Just, so this is just 2 with Keen, but this one gives me... I'll have to like break down a couple things in order to even get some of these things. Okay, I, I broke that off. That was apparently fucking enough for, for one. Two to 12. I do lose one modifier and one defense, but the amount of modifier I already have is ridiculous. So it doesn't really matter at all. Which is completely fine. 25 to 60 damage. I also get the chance to roll the attacks four fucking times. Oh my god, bro. What's the point of playing with a party member if I can do all this shit? Honestly. <laughs> it's ridiculous. 40 credits. I'll talk to that man a little bit later. And a droid. Fuck! You can assist me by getting out of the way. I'll get to you guys late because I need to talk to them at some point anyways for the story. Oh, oh, Jal Shea Perception Gloves. It gives one dexterity, one wisdom. However, none of us need those actually, but it's nice to have them. There is a vendor nearby I want to actually speak to. There's multiple vendors, never mind that. 
I do need to start getting new armor. The Zayshin shot, the initiate one are good, but more as a as a starter rather than a late game. And we're already pretty much sort of like <clears throat> mid game. What are you trading? All right, let's see. This is all droid stuff, of course, but there's another vendor. I have 24k credits. I don't need to sell anything right now. Please, look, I already paid the exchange what I have. You know what we're all going to do. You know what option I'm going to choose. <laughs> If I can actually do it, though. <laughs> if I can uh, do it. I, uh, oh, look! Here's the one with your credits. About time. Look, these gentlemen are getting impatient. Um. Actually, no. It's it's only this man's lying. I don't know him, and I, I don't have his credits. Uh, the the next one of you threatens me dies. Uh, I can only choose the option later on. Whoopsies. Okay. Doesn't matter then. <laughs> 50 credits. A credit and a computer spike. And he has nothing. Uh, are you crazy? That was exchange muscle. When they hear about this, they'll come back a dozen strong and tear you limb from limb. Uh, you brought me into this mess. Now I'm going to kill you. What? No. Uh, let me see what you have. Ooh, he has Adagan crystal, man. Shit. Yeah, take it. Power implant, strength plus two. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I don't need this wisdom plus two bullshit. Give me uh, more strength. 27 strength right now. My damage is now 27 to 62 plus... Okay. Fucking hell. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them from a great distance, like a shiver running through you. Ah, there's a craving in the air, a hunger. It is Narshada, the true Narshada that you feel around you. It is this moon with the metal and machines. <laughs> and the dead bodies on the left as well. <laughs> it feels so uh, the currents are moving so fast, almost frantically. The damage to you had deadened you to such perception. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the Force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. Is it possible for me to manipulate it, to control these people? One might as well move the universe, but such manipulation is possible, yes. It requires that one so it looks like she's in the Ebon Hawk, but it's like very weirdly it textured. The echoes travel to your intended destination. Um, then control over such a large scale is possible. Not in the sense you understand it. The ability to fool the minds of others to dominate them on a massive scale that you speak of is not achieved best through raw power. Manipulation is done through propelling events or selected ones into motion. It is done through teaching, through example, and through conviction. And the greatest of victories are not manipulations at all, but simply awakening others to the truth of what you believe. Echoed, get your echoed fucking drinks ready. But let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment. This is also for the people on YouTube later on, by the way. I'm watching you guys. Maximum force points increased. There you go. But that's always a uh, given. Uh, are you a merchant too? Uh, 
Uh, I could kill her for you, settle the problem. I'll do it. Let's see what you have. Okay, so I need to fucking get rid of her to get the shot. Well, I already got most of the stuff I want from the, the Rodian, so I could just get rid of her now. Um... You'd better move your shop out of the sector before I destroy it. Oh, I can't kill her. Damn it. What a shame. How can I fully realize my power when people keep running away? She's gone and won't be coming back. You better have a better shop than her, though, because I, I only found, like, one useful item. Zation Shah Warrior. Okay. So, 5 bonus, 4 dexterity, fortitude, 1, compared to... Oh, it, it's the same, but it has one extra uh, defense. Okay, I'll take that. Crystal next to... It's got threat range times two, though. God damn. Yes. Another Mandalorian Ripper. These ones are so expensive because they're literally the best fucking uh, weapon in the... Uh, pistol in the game, basically. But I'm using uh, HK. So I don't have a need for this. His shop isn't actually that fucking great, though. I will be honest. I'm not a big fan of his either. 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 I also need to remember to upgrade Vice's his lightsaber. I'm not gonna wear the rope, the the Zation Star Warrior once because I, I need to take off my uh, upgrades. What? The door's closed. Oh shit. Yeah, he was gonna die, bro. He's got a fucking. Okay, you know what? It doesn't even matter. He's fucking big, bro. Okay, well, let's get his remains. <laughs> A metal box. Yeah, Vices is dying quickly. I need to make sure... Mandalorian power shield. Those are pretty nice. A plasma projector. Holy shit. It's not gradable, but the critical threat is 17 to 20. So I get a greater chance at actually hitting a critical uh, uh, hit. It does sacrifice some damage, but it's like my chances at doing a critical damage or at doing a critical hit is higher. I got cardio power. Constitution plus four. You're basically saying I'm a fucking tank now? I mean, do I do that or keep getting strength plus two? I think I'll give- I'll keep the constitution plus four for now. Because I insta-kill everything anyways now. It doesn't matter. Getting some extra health might be nice. 284 health, he's got 180. I got basically... <laughs> so much fucking health is ridiculous. Hey, I saw that ship you flew in on. My ship. Uh, get out of my way. No, I don't think so. You and me, we got some business to settle. If you don't get out of my way, you'll be dead. We'll see about that. Watch yourself. Nar Shaddaa can be a rough place. Um, I'm sure I'll be fine. Don't worry, bro. I, I know how to handle myself most of the time anyways. There's a workbench again. I need it. I need to get an upgrade done. But the critical threat is 1920. I could sacrifice the three damage. Oh, but the massive criticals, man. Oh, 
I know, but you know what? Now I'm gonna keep on the extra damage. That being said, though, let me get to the initiate armor, get rid of these, put them in the warrior. And my lightsaber is fine as it is, but I need to upgrade uh, her lightsaber. She's going to get a violet blade, fits her more, I think. Yeah, you can get the critical threat, though, and the Adagan, and also this for now to get some extra damage. Ah, you look much better. Would they be attacking our ship this early already, or would it? No, they don't. You have to get through a... Uh, a, a loading screen before you get to that part. Okay, I see. Well, that's fine by me. I don't mind. We'll go to the left side first. The docks. No, I, I want to do the, the refugee side of things before going to the docks, I feel like. Those are more fun anyways. Because you get to kill so many people. <laughs> yes, that's literally the reasoning. Okay. But we'll do that in the next stream. Ah, oh, what a shame. Oh, we were so close to opening the door and everything. Oh, what a, oh, I just, I feel so sorry for you guys. I really do. I get it. I completely get it. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with another Knights of the Old Republic episode. So don't worry. We're getting back into this in 24 hours or so. Um, but yeah, good progress today. Honestly, we've got our own crystal finally. We finished Dantooine. We have uh, our first, we finally have our prestige class. So we're now on Sith Marauder and we get different stats attributed for the, instead of getting plus three dexterity on full dark side mode, you get uh, plus uh, one to eight damage. Um, we also rebuild HK to a certain point where his stats are already pretty high. And um, yeah, good progress for two and a half hours, I'd say. But yeah, this is going to be it though, guys. I appreciate you all for hopping into the stream and later on for watching this on YouTube, of course. I, don't, I, I never forget about you guys. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching and um, until the next stream. All right, take care, everyone. Peace.